Hi, in this video we're going to talk about DMZs or demilitarized zones and what they are. This is going to be just a basic overview because there's a lot of different ways you could configure them and some of them are pretty simple like what we're going to talk about and some of them are complex. Some use hardware like what we're going to talk about and some could be logical where they're using let's say software based firewalls and that kind of thing so they're more like a virtual VPN. So what the point of a VPN is let's say you have a web server or an FTP server and you want the public to be able to access that server from the internet or outside your network but you also want to be able to access it from within your network and you don't want to have the same type of access from both sides so let's say from your internal network you want to be able to access your web server just like it was on your internal network and from the outside you don't want the public being able to access it you know, for file shares or anything like that. You just want them to be able to get web pages from it. So what you do is you set up what is called a DMZ, and it sits between two firewalls. That's kind of the usual way of setting it up. You could do it with one. Um, so what we have here, we have the public internet, we have our perimeter firewall, and then we have our DMZ resources, like our, let's say this is our web server, and that's our FTP server, and there are servers. They're not owned by, you know, some other domain out there on the internet, they're owned, they're part of our network, just on a different subnet. And then we have our internal firewall, which is in between the DMZ servers and our internal network. So let's say for this web server, we want to be able to allow the outside world or the internet to, to uh, access and serve up web pages. So what we'll normally do is we'll configure the network as shown. So we'll have this firewall connect to the um, internet and this one on this side of the firewall connected to our DMZ and on this firewall we will configure whatever ports and services we need to allow that web traffic to go through. So in our case let's say we're going to allow HTTP and HTTPS and port 80 and port 443 so those are the respective ports for each one of the services so that'll allow secure and non-secure web traffic to go through that firewall and into that server. And let's say on this side we want to have unrestricted access, so we could just leave it wide open or just, you know, narrow it down to some just enough for what we need to get the job done to access these servers. And for going this way, let's say we don't want certain traffic coming from this DMZ into our network, so we could block everything except for what we need coming this way. So we could have a lot of access this way and a little bit of access that way. So just in case somebody gets through our firewall somehow, and they hack into our servers, they don't have full access to our internal network because this firewall is restricting it or is completely blocked off. And then the same for our FTP server. Let's say we wanted uh, FTP service in port 21. We would just allow those to go through and you know the same kind of configuration. So that's the basic rundown of a DMZ. Um, it's just, just pretty much think of it as a zone in between the public and the private network and it's just open enough to where you could do what you need to do and serve up what you need to do this to the uh, public while protecting your inside stuff from the public because you don't want them to have any access. So that's a pretty simple basic explanation but hopefully kind of gives you an idea of how one works. All right thanks for watching.